on a hymn that I honestly can almost not believe we have not done a video on. It's Jesus Priceless Treasure and it's number 743 in the Lutheran Service Book. And this hymn was published in the year 1653 and written by Johann Frank. And Frank was a German Lutheran lawyer and poet. And he actually modeled this hymn after a secular love song that was written by a contemporary of his. So it uses the same poetic meter, the same rhythmic structure as that original song. And it also copies the first two lines, but changes them to make them about Jesus. And that sort of reminds me of like when you hear a secular love song on the radio and you think, hey, is this about a boy or is this about Jesus? Or is this about like his girlfriend or is this about Jesus? And that's probably not a fair comparison because the rest of this song really is totally original to Frank and it's very, very clearly about Jesus and not about any other love interest that he might have. And this hymn was written by Frank just five years after the end of the Thirty Years' War. And that's relevant because toward the end of that war, Frank's hometown suffered greatly at the hands of the Saxons and the Swedes after they invaded the city. And so this background of uh, suffering is a background for all of his poetic writing, really. And in hymns like this one, you really see the richness and the depth that is lent to a text by like Frank's experience of, of suffering, but then Christ's comfort in that suffering. Suffering both as a result of his own sin and suffering as a result of just sin in the world and the war that he's going through. I only wish that we could actually be singing this hymn in the original German because as beautiful as this language is and deep and rich, it's translated for us by Catherine Winkworth who translates just about everything. And <clears throat> according to Daniel Griminger in the Lutheran Service Book Companion to the Hymns, it loses a little bit of its depth in certain places. For instance, that original first line of the hymn says, I have to find it in my notes here, says, Jesus, my joy, my heart's pasture. My heart's pasture. What, like, beautiful language. And then we, in the translation, get Jesus' priceless treasure, source of purest pleasure. And that difference between Jesus being our pasture and being our pleasure, it's still great hymnody, but it's just maybe loses a little bit. So, kind of sad there. But thank you, Catherine, anyway. So, there is actually a fitting collect also on the next page of this hymn or the second page because it's kind of long so there's two pages it talks about how jesus is our support and our defense in every need and it's found also in the hope and comfort section of our hymnal and how fitting for both the background of this hymn and also the beautiful language that is in it there are six verses in this hymn and they are about how the world cannot defeat us because we are in jesus arms that's actually language from the second verse of the hymn I love how these verses even call out Satan and death and sin and the world and tell them to leave us alone because they have no power. That's one of my favorite things that a hymn can do. Uh, God's Own Child, I Gladly Say It, which might be one of my favorite hymns, does the exact same thing. We are in Christ, so we can tell those things that they have no power over us. Now, this hymn is honest about what life in the world looks like. Those things may have no power over us, but sometimes we're still going to feel the weight of living under them. And I think that the last verse of this hymn really wraps up what it is to be living in the sorrows of this world, but also to be living in Jesus. So here's the last verse of the hymn. Hence all fear and sadness, for the Lord of gladness, Jesus, enters in. Those who love the Father, though the storms may gather, still have peace within. Yea, whatever I here must bear, thou art still my purest pleasure, Jesus, priceless treasure. So just to touch on the tune then, before I leave you, those words are beautiful to leave you with, but I have to mention this. The tune is written by another Johann, Johann Kruger. His name's at the bottom of the page there. And I think that this tune really captures the gravity of sin and our situation in the world, but also the strength of Christ for that sin and for those situations in the world. And it was written by Kruger for this text. That's why they go so well together. And it was later used by like Bach in cantatas and even a motet and some organ preludes, which you should Google, by the way, they are very beautiful. So that is our hymn, our hymn of the day for this Sunday, Jesus Priceless Treasure. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something and we'll see you next time. Bye.